Dennis Elkins, reading Clarence. Cheerio, my good man. Hey, look here. Why'd you want to save me? Cause I'm your guardian angel. Yeah, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Ridiculous of you to think of killing yourself for money. Eight thousand dollars. Yeah, just things like that. How'd you know that? Well, I told you. I'm your guardian angel. I know everything about you. Well, you look like about the kind of angel I'd get. Sort of a fallen angel, aren't you? What happened to your wings? I haven't got my wings yet. That's why I'm an angel second class. Oh, I see. But you can help me earn them, George, by letting me help you. Uh, you don't happen to have 8,000 bucks on you. I don't know, no, no. We don't use money in heaven. Ah, oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. Uh, it comes in pretty handy down here, bub. I found it out a little late. I'm worth more dead than alive. Yeah, now, you mustn't say things like that. I won't get my wings with that attitude. You just don't know all that you've done. Well, if it hadn't been for you... Yeah, if it hadn't been for me, everybody would be a lot better off. My wife, my kids, my friends. This, this isn't going to be easy. They'd all be better off if I hadn't been born. What did you say? I said I wish I'd never been born. George, that's wonderful. Wonderful? The idea you just gave me. Well, you've got your wish. You've never been born. Never been born? Exactly. No worries, no $8,000 to get, nothing. You simply don't exist. Hey, wait a minute. This ear of mine. Say something in that ear. You don't have a bad ear anymore, don't you see? You're not the George Bailey you think you are. You're a, well, you're nobody. Huh. That's the doggondest thing. Your lips stop bleeding too, George. Huh. What do you know about that? What happened? I need a drink. That's what I need. What about you, Angel? Did you want a drink? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, come on. We'll go as soon as our clothes are dry. Our clothes are dry. Yeah, so they are. That's funny. That stove's hotter than I thought. Well, look, let's get dressed and we'll stroll over to Martini's and then... Oh, excuse me. I'll stroll. You fly. I haven't got my wings. Yeah, I haven't got your wings. Yeah, that's right. A couple of drinks and we'll both fly. Thank you. Dennis Elkins doing par. <laughs> George, I'm an old man, and most people hate me. But I don't like them either, so it makes all even. Now, you know just as well as I do that I run practically everything in this town but the Bailey Building and Loan. You know also that for a number of years I've been trying to get control of it, or kill it, but I haven't been able to do it. You have been stopping me. In fact, you have beaten me, George, and that takes some doing. Take during the Depression, for instance. <laughs> You and I were the only ones who kept our heads. You saved the building and loan, and I saved all the rest. Now, if you were some ordinary yokel, I, I would say you were doing fine. But George Bailey is intelligent, ambitious. He hates the building and loan almost as much as I do. He's been dying to get out of town ever since he was born. A young man, the smartest in the crowd, mind you, who has to sit by and watch his friends go places because he's trapped. Trapped into frittering his life away, playing nursemaid to a bunch of garlic eaters. Do I paint a correct picture, George? Or do I exaggerate?